Tommy Daniels here on the Allen Americans podcast. Pleased to be joined by Allen Americans defenseman Ben Carroll from Sherwood Park to Crusaders all the way to Allen, Texas. Now, Ben, tell me about your days in Sherwood Park. First of all, where is that? And, and what exactly uh, is the, the definition, in your opinion, of a Crusader? Ooh, uh, so Sherwood Park is about... I'd say 10 or 15 minutes outside of Edmonton. It's just a little suburb there. I don't actually live in Sherwood Park right now. I'm living on the south side of Edmonton. So that's kind of where, just where I played my minor hockey. And like you said, for the Crusaders there. And a Crusader, I kind of think of the medieval times when you say that. It's kind of just maybe a, a warrior, uh, a knight type of thing. So that was, it was kind of cool to play there again. Just kind of a hometown thing was nice. So give me your, your thoughts on uh, his hometown for you on the bubble in Edmonton. It seems like everything has worked out really, really well uh, in the NHL and, and kudos to those guys. Uh, both hubs have done extremely well with, with no positive test at all. Yeah, I think they're doing a really good job of that. I mean, obviously the two hubs have pretty good facilities for that. And they, uh, I think they have it pretty dialed in with all their testing and, what they're doing to kind of keep the players away from any possible threats. So I think they're doing a really, really good job. And it's, it's nice to see, honestly, for the fans and just even for the, for the city, it's kind of good to have that attention. And some people see the, the nicer parts of Edmonton now that they, that they're showing them on TV a little bit more. So. And also too, it's gotta be tough for the fans there. Um, you know, you got the, you know, the playoffs going on in your backyard and you can't even go to a game. You can't even see a player. You can't see uh you know, McKinnon walking around the streets of Edmonton. Um, it's got to be tough on fans. And I know everybody is waiting for the day when we can return to the arena. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think, again, it's always going to be a million times better with the fans. And kind of the city would be would be bumping a little bit more if people could go out and do things like that. And it would be, like you said, cool to see those guys kind of walking around downtown. So, obviously, it's not the best case scenario. But the fact that they're making it work is good nonetheless. Talk about last year here in Allen for a couple games, two games, two points, and it's pretty good. Um, but, yeah. you know, you, you know as, as a guy that was walking in from the outside, um, just tell our fan base what you saw as far as talent in our room. Well, there's a ton of it. I mean, obviously, you get like guys like Sheehy and um, the big Russian D-man. So uh, you guys Fal had a ton of talent in there. Yeah, Falky was there. And, I mean, obviously the forwards, there was, there was scoring deep all the way through. So it was kind of um it, it was really good to come into a, a spot like that and um it was, it was kind of nice it was all the guys were really good to me and it was kind of a, an easy fit so like you said there's a ton of talent there they got scoring throughout the forwards lineup and Polly and Corbs there I knew I knew both of those guys coming in so that made it a little bit easier and you had to be impressed with it, just the talent on the blue line last year you look at Lancaster and in Breton and Falkovsky and you know, you name it. We, we had a really, really good uh, blue line last year, guys that could put the puck in the net. And obviously, you come walking in at, at the end and, and bring some, uh, some nice young excitement to our lineup. Uh, I said last year, I think it's maybe the, arguably the best decor we've ever had in the 11 years of the team. Yeah, it was it was great. It was a really great back end. I mean, like I said, uh, Falky, Cor uh, Corbett, Sadek was there too. Lancaster wasn't there when I when I got there. He was up with Iowa, but I've heard really good things about him. I actually lived with his roommate uh, Lamb in there, so he had some pretty good compliments to say about Les. So they, uh, like you said, they had an unbelievable back end, and it's kind of nice again just being able to hop in with those guys. They helped me out a lot and kind of in practices and stuff like that. Let me know what was going on, so it was good. Well, here's a little bit of a little nugget you threw us. I didn't know you were a roommate of Lamb. And now I, yeah. one of the greatest guys we've ever had. You're such a nice, oh, yeah. such a nice kid. Give yeah. me a good Lamb story. Ooh, we didn't really get to do anything that, that, that outrageous because of, uh, of COVID there. So it kind of got, we didn't, there's nothing crazy I could tell you. We, uh, I don't know. We just had some, he was honestly, he was a great dude. Like you said, he's just a really nice guy. And we had some, a lot of time at the house together because we couldn't really do it do a ton so but it was it was good to be with a guy like that and he kind of drove me around and basically babysit me there for a couple of weeks while I was there so yeah it was really nice to get in a spot with him and he could kind of show me the ropes did you know that he's a really good photographer I did yeah he actually showed me uh, a few of those few of the pictures that he'd been taking 
um, he uh, kind of said he was into that. So, yeah, it's, it's a kind of a cool thing. He, he, uh, he is really good. I think this year his nickname, and he it, it's definitely a run with it, it's Lamb Shots, right? It's got to be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you think so? That or Lamb Chops, too. I think that's his Twitter handle or maybe Instagram. I can't remember which one. Yep, absolutely. This is uh, Ben Carroll. Excited to have Ben back and Allen uh, bring some great uh, skill to our blue line. Uh, you know, Marty talked about you, and in, in, in I think was one of the greatest compliments, especially because he didn't know you very long, but he said you're a great character guy for the room. Uh, when you hear something like that from your coach, what does that mean? It's nice. It gives you a ton of confidence. I mean, hearing that from, from the guy running the bench and running the room is kind of, uh, like you said, it's just a huge compliment. So it's it's really nice that I did make that impression. And obviously, I do try to be that type of player and that type of, of person as well. So that, that's a huge compliment for me. I appreciate that a lot. So expectations this year are high for Alan. Uh, you know, I believe this. I might be drinking the Kool-Aid, but maybe it's because I've been here a long time and I've seen some really good teams roll through here. But I really believe you know, Ben, we had a team last year that could win it all. Uh, I, I think that we were, you know, we were clicking. We had a bunch of guys who cared about each other, who wanted to win. Uh, they were playing for each other, not for individual stats. And you know, it was one of those seasons that was really tough to walk away because, you know, I, I think the, the Americans were going to play deep into the playoffs, and I think special things could have happened if we would have been given the opportunity. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Like, like I said before, the, the chemistry in the room was really good, and – like you said, they obviously had a really good team there. They were in, I think they were in first place when I, uh, when I went down there. And so just tried to contribute as much as I could. And I think, I think you're, you're right in assuming that they probably could have, like we probably could have made a deep playoff run, which would have been, would have been nice. But again, I guess these things happen and just kind of do what we can with it and come back next year. So what are you doing to occupy your time uh, while you're, you're back, uh, you know, up there in, in Edmonton or near Edmonton? you play a lot of golf or what's what's your entertainment uh, daily i'm actually not a huge golfer so i might have to when i get back down down there i might have to get into that a little bit more i think a, a bunch of the guys there golf quite a bit so it's a little bit nicer weather than up, up north here so but uh right when i got home I, I didn't do much of anything i had to quarantine for a while and then pretty much everything was shut down here i'm i'm sure it was similar there so we uh i just i have i live with one of my really close friends here so we were kind of quarantining together which made it quite a bit better and then as things started to open up i started to do a little bit more and more with uh taking the necessary precautions obviously and then our gym opened up here actually recently so i've been that's been kind of a bit of time and then i run hockey camps here with uh sean brown who actually used to play for the oilers and the bruins and so that's kind of been as those have fired up that's kind of taken up the the majority of my days so family okay everybody okay up there up north yeah yeah my family's been been well thank you for asking last thing for you it's going to be tough who do you got oh. in the finals and who, who's going to win oh that is tough i'd like to see vegas come out of the west i mean i'm cheering against the canadian team right now but uh, i just kind of like the way they play out of the east it's, it's hard to say anyone but Tampa at this point they kind of rolled over Boston there so I think I think that'll be the final and then maybe I'd like to see Vegas win it I think yeah you know what and and how about the Islanders what is you know they're not many yeah. everybody said Philly and the Islanders you know when they won the, the previous series uh, maybe they got a yeah. little lucky but Philly who was arguably the hottest team going into the bubble uh they you know they've done a really good job against them they have, yeah. I actually, I got, I might have to change my answer. I got to root for the Flyers a bit because I, I know Carter Hart a little bit, so I gotta, I think I gotta change my answer up on that one. There you go, Ben. Well, hey, great to see you, buddy. Can't wait to see you, uh, you know, here in in November when we get things started. In the meantime, be safe and in, enjoy the uh, the nice, cool weather up in Edmonton. <laughs> yeah, you too, Tommy. Thank you. All right, that's Ben Carroll, the latest signing of your Allen American.